Hello once again, you toy fanatics, and welcome back to Elch's Reviews. Um, it's been a really long time, but I'm back. Ugh, after almost a year, maybe more. Kind of lost track. Um, but don't worry, I will be doing reviews again. However, um, I am using my old camera. The quality on it's really not that great. So, um, until we can get that resolved, uh, I'm going to not be doing toy reviews, but I am going to be doing a new series in which I review USB game pads. Um, it's uh, something I've discovered I have uh, quite a fondness for, is discovering weird and obscure USB game pads, third party game pads, that kind of thing. Uh, because they all come, because every once in a while you come across one that is really unique in design, not based off of the typical uh, PlayStation or Xbox controller. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do Retrolink controllers. Those of you who know what Retrolink is, it makes kind of a retro style controllers into uh, retro style controllers out of USB controllers. Uh, like uh, I've actually got a NES controller one. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be doing reviews based all. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not going to be doing reviews. Uh, stuttering all over the place. I am not going. I don't know. If I'm going to be doing reviews on Retrolink one way or the other. That aside, before we look at this thing, I want to tell you how these reviews are going to work. I'm going to use a five point system. There's going to be five points for functionality, or how well the commun how well uh, how sensitive it is, how it well it uh, communicates with your computer, and uh, just my personal experience with them. Uh, then there's going to be five points for comfort in the hand because if you're going to buy a gamepad, you want to. Uh, play with it comfortably and five points for how nice it looks why how nice it looks well I mount my controllers on the wall and I want them to look nice there now let's get started on this thing this is as far as I know the only gamepad ever made by the um, computer peripheral company Sabrent well, I say peripheral they make like USB cards and mice and uh, keyboards and stuff like that. This is the only uh, gamepad that I have I think they've made. And, uh, as, you, and uh, as you can plainly see, it's based off of the Sony DualShock design. Um, uh, functionality wise, let's start with that. I have, I bought this about a year ago and I have gotten steady use out of it. I use it to test new games that allow me to map my new that allow me to map my own controls because the extra two buttons here um, really help when you're like playing a fighting game or you um, just want to have something right there on your th uh, within your thumb's reach. I, I but mostly it's just a test controller that I use. I have other controllers that I do use um, for games after I've used this, but old blue here uh, is usually the is in the front lines. I say old blue, I've only had him a year. Um, definitely would recommend using it for fighting games, uh, just because of the setup of the buttons here. Although, um, if you are going to play, a f although if you are a fan of fighting games, you probably already own some kind of a fight stick that you would use with your computer or PlayStation. Now, that's another thing I should mention. Um, most of these controllers that I will be reviewing uh, are only compatible with PC. You could try to plug this into your PlayStation. Um, I tried it once, it didn't really know which button to interpret as which. Um, I think it assumed that one was X, I think that it's assuming that one is X, two is square, four is triangle, and three is circle. That's confusing, um, but I could get around it if I tried again. Uh, but mostly it's just a PC controller, and that's going to be the majority of what I review here. Uh, also, I'll be reviewing controllers that are for the PS3 or Xbox that are compatible with the uh, PC. Um, <clears throat> now let's go to comfort in the hand. Um, as you can see by my hand comparison, I'm pressing right up against the controller. It's rather small, and if you've got large hands like me, uh, it'll ca it'll cause cramps after a little while, and that's not really a, a plus in its department. Um, I mean, I've 
tried holding it with my fingers and not in my palms, but that also uh, causes cramps after a while. But the sticks, unlike the DualShock 2, which I believe this is based off of, um, actually are indented so that your thumbs don't slip off like they do on, this, on the DualShock 2. Unfortunately though, uh, I need to mention this now, I, I say it's based off of the DualShock, but that's just as far as the casing goes. Um, there is no vibration function in this thing whatsoever, and that kind of makes it feel just a little bit light. Um, not terribly light, thankfully, but it does feel kind of iffy. Um, like the handles are empty. Um, I'm not really sure how to feel about that. Um, aesthetic appeal. It looks nice on my wall. <laughs> uh, it's, uh, it's got a semi-translucent thing going on in the plastic. Uh, I think what they did to pull that off is they uh, put one case on, then they put another hard case over it. And that gives it this uh, semi-translucent look go uh, to it. The cord itself is uh, relatively long. I just rubber band them when I be. I just rubber band the cords when I store them. Uh, it just makes things a whole lot easier. Um, but whatever. But however you store your controllers, the wire is long enough. It's. I think it's like a six foot uh, wire. I, I'm not gonna undo it to measure it right now. But I think there's. Yeah, I think there's like six feet in there. Maybe less actually. Um, so yeah, you, if you're using this thing, you're definitely meant to be really close to whatever system you're using it on. Again, don't I don't recommend uh, PS3 or PS4 or anything like that. I've not tried it on Xbox. It works best with PC. Um, so, all in all, uh, for functionality, I give it a 5. It works really well when the game allows it to, or when the game is allows you to map your controls. There's been no issue with it. Uh, both the analog and digital functions of the sticks here are perfect for, say, when you're playing emulators or you're playing uh, uh, something a little more, or you're playing something on Steam. It's uh, it's perfect for that. Um, all you have to do is click the mode button there, and it'll switch between uh, digital and analog. Although it defaults to digital. Um, I don't like the, uh, like I said, I don't like the. Uh, D buttons. So uh, this is gonna get, as far as functionality goes, a score of five. I'm not gonna mince words. Uh, aside from that, uh, the D buttons there, it works great. It's gonna get a five. Uh, comfort in the hand, it's get it gets. Um, I'm sorry, but it gets like a a three. It's comfortable for the first two hours, and then you start cramping up. Um, what saves it from uh, getting a two or two and a half are these sticks here. Um, they don't slip, your fingers don't slip off of them really well. They hold really nicely because uh, they got little bumps in there. Uh, aesthetic appeal, it gets a 3.5. It's it's basically just a, a blue dual shock with two extra buttons. Uh, it's kind of translucent. So, overall score, uh, it gets an 11 and a half. And um, I'm not going to say that's being generous. I'm going to say that's a... Uh, in my opinion, that's a fair uh, score for this thing. That being said, would I recommend this thing? Absolutely. Uh, if you can find one for like under $10, I got this for like 8 bucks. Um, and you need a controller that you for like fighting games or testing out new uh, games on Steam, definitely pick it up. If they try to sell it to you for more than $10, though, uh, not including shipping then don't buy it. Um, it's not it's uh, not that good a controller to be wasting a ton of money on. However, I do get a fair amount of use out of it um, whenever I'm on Steam and I've got a new game because uh, between you and me I like to scroll through Steam and just click on uh, free to play games or free games just to see how uh, uh, just see how well they're done because every once in a while you find a gem. Uh, that aside uh, yes, if you, uh, I want to mention that Sabrent, this is the only gamepad that Sabrent's ever made. There are other companies, though, that use this exact same uh, look, right down to this uh, logo up here being a, it's actually melt, it's actually molded in there, 
well not molded in there, it's clear and then there's a sticker under it and it's, uh, you can tell it was like a clear cap or something. But yeah, there are other companies out there that use uh, this setup. I've not, exp I've not um, had much experience with them. Sorry, burped. Um, but I can't imagine that they're any better or worse than this. So if you're hunting around eBay and you see something like this, um, and it is cheap enough, it's probably just as good as this. Uh, I can't say with 100% certainty though, don't hold it against me. Uh, I would like to thank you so much for uh, watching. Um, there will be more controller reviews to come. Thank you so much, and this is El Chisel Reviews, signing off.